Hello everybody, my name is Elizabeth Knutson. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Do you love Bath & Body Works products and especially their three-wick candles? As you can tell from the collection beside me, I happen to love them a lot. And I do candle review videos on this channel. So if you love Bath & Body Works candles as well, then please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel by clicking on that big red subscribe button located directly underneath this video, as well as the notification bell right beside it so that you are always notified as to when I upload a brand new Bath & Body Works candle review video to this channel. In today's review video, I'm going to be taking a closer look at the 14 and a half ounce three wick rose water and ivy candle by Bath and Body Works. This particular pour of rose water and ivy is from the Around the World Travel Collection that was released in 2019 and it is no longer currently available for purchase via the Bath and Body Works website. However, rose water and ivy is currently available for purchase. It is just in a different label. I have already checked the fragrance notes on this particular pour of Rose Water and Ivy and it matches the current fragrance notes for the one that is available for purchase. I'm going to throw up a quick screenshot from the Bath & Body Works website which shows the current label of Rose Water and Ivy that is available as well as the fragrance notes of the candle which are Soft Rose Petals, Rain Kissed Ivy, and Spring Musk with essential oils. I feel that the description for that first fragrance note of this candle is spot on. The fragrance of this candle smells exactly like a soft rose floral scent. I can't say for certain that I smell that ivy or the musk fragrances when I'm smelling this candle cold. However, that could very well change once I've put this candle under my lamp warmer and it's had a chance to heat up. I do want to briefly touch on the packaging of this particular pour of rose water and ivy before we move on. So let's take a closer look at this label. So looking at that center label with the scent name, Rose Water and Ivy, we can see that the scent name itself is in a smaller cursive type font. And because this candle was part of the Around the World Travel Collection that was released in 2019, Rose Water and Ivy was assigned the destination of Paris for its candle label artwork. And taking a look to either side of that main label with the scent name, we can see the Eiffel Tower and some other buildings which just make up the landscape of what you would picture Paris to be like. And then directly behind the artwork of the buildings, we can see that sections of the candle label have been almost cut out to form the word Paris so that you can see the wax directly behind the buildings. And I'm sure that when this candle is lit up, that Paris is also illuminated. And so that will be very interesting to see once this has had a chance to be put under the lamp warmer. And taking a look inside the candle, we can see that the wax color is a nice light pink rosy color and three standard wicks. I actually have not had the chance to melt this candle under my lamp warmer yet, so I'm pretty excited to see just how well it's going to perform in terms of the fragrance throw, especially since this particular pour of Rose Water and Ivy was released in 2019. Sometimes older candles do not retain their scent as well as others, but it can vary from candle to candle, and so we will just have to test this out and see how well it does. I plan on leaving the rose water and ivy candle under my lamp warmer for a period of four hours. These are the general guidelines that I like to follow and as provided by Bath & Body Works. These guidelines can actually be found on the bottoms of each of their three wick candles. I feel that this time frame gives the candle enough time to adequately melt, form an even wax pool, and disperse the fragrance of the candle throughout my home. And so with that, let's see how rose water and ivy performs under my lamp warmer. So here we have the Rose Water and Ivy candle, and it has been under my lamp warmer for a few hours now. And looking at the label, I am just in love with how when the candle is lit up, 
that the letters that make up the word Paris shine through those transparent areas on the glass jar. It's just so pretty. And also looking at that wax pool that has developed, it is fairly even at this point and has turned a light pink shade. As far as the fragrance throw of this candle goes, I would say that it is above average with a special condition. Although I'm able to smell the fragrance of this candle from all the way in my master bedroom, which if you have watched any of my other candle review videos, you know that my master bedroom is located more than 25 feet away from where the lamp warmer is located at in my house. And even though I can smell the scent of this candle from in my master bedroom, I could only really get whiffs of it and the fragrance overall was very light. This candle overall stays true to its original fragrance note and it is a very light rose scented fragrance. If you are the kind of person who is sensitive to very strong overbearing scents, then the Rose Water and Ivy Candle would be one that I could recommend for you to check out, just because the overall fragrance of this candle did not get any more stronger than when I was smelling it cold. It is a very light floral rose scent. All in all, if you are looking for a candle that's going to flood your house with fragrance, I would say to keep looking because the Rose Water and Ivy Candle is definitely more on the lighter side, it would probably be better suited for a smaller area of your home. And this concludes today's review of the 14 and a half ounce three wick rose water and ivy candle by Bath and Body Works. As I stated earlier in this video, rose water and ivy is a fragrance that is currently available for purchase either on the Bath and Body Works website or if you prefer to smell this scent in person, it can also be found at select Bath and Body Works stores. If you liked this review of the Rose Water and Ivy Candle, then show me some support by clicking on that thumbs up button located directly underneath the video. Also, I would love to get your feedback on the Rose Water and Ivy Candle. Have you had an opportunity to smell this candle in person? And what did you think of the fragrance? You can do this by leaving me a comment in the comment section down below. And finally, if you enjoyed this candle review video and you'd like to see more Bath & Body Works candle review videos in the future, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button located directly underneath this video, as well as the notification bell right beside it so that you always know when I've uploaded a brand new candle review video to this channel. Thank you so much for watching this video and for supporting me and my YouTube channel. And I will see you tomorrow with another candle review video. Bye!